Hi, my name is Rita Zarate and I'm the Hero Support Manager here at Parlevel Systems. Today, I'm going to show you five tips and tricks to help you navigate your vending management system. We're going to cover warehouse pre-kitting, routing, audits, and more. Tip number one, how to show PARs in the warehouse pre-kitting screen. In some instances, your pre-kitters may need to view the PAR level for a certain machine to make sure they are adjusting pre-kit correctly for a particular selection. This may include knowing when to adjust pre-kitting down, leaving the pre-kit as is, or increasing the pre-kit for a particular selection. Viewing PARs in warehouse pre-kitting will help you make sure you are stocking the right amount of product in the right machine. In order to enable this view, navigate to Company Settings, click on the Pre-kitting tab, click the green Edit icon, and toggle the Show PARs in Warehouse Pre-kitting screen to on. Save your changes. Tip number two, using the inventories over PAR report. If you're trying to determine errors made during services or you need to see any current inventories over the PAR level set, you can use PAR level's inventories over PAR report. This report can help identify whether you need to adjust the PAR level or double check the inventory of a machine while you are on location. To find this report, navigate to Analytics, Vending Operations, Inventories over PAR. From this page, you can click on the POS name to view the current inventory on a machine, the PAR, and see how many selections are currently over the PAR level set. You can also view the difference between the inventory and PAR. Click on the column headers to sort by ascending or descending numbers and quickly allow you to see which machines or markets to tackle first. Tip number three, force calculate pre-kitting. In the warehouse pre-kitting page, you can see all the pre-kits that have been generated based on current inventory at the time of calculating the route. However, you may want to see all selections in the machine even if no pre-kit is needed or if the pre-kit is at zero. This is handy if you want to change PAR levels, for example. To enable this option, navigate to the company settings by clicking on your name and avatar on the top right. Navigate to the pre-kitting page, click the green edit icon, and toggle the force calculate pre-kitting option to on. Save your changes. Now when you navigate to your route and click on the warehouse pre-kitting page, you will have a new option under the options button to force calculate. Tip number four, how to quickly navigate to the service route. Need to navigate to the route that a machine or market is on or want to verify if the machine you are looking at is on a particular route? Easily find out from the machine or market modal. Click on the machine or market name from the vending all machines page or markets all markets page. And from the modal, look for a small truck icon on the top right. If you see this icon, that means this machine or market is scheduled on a route. If you click on this icon, it will take you directly to the route it's scheduled on. As a note, if you do not see this icon, this means the machine or market is not scheduled for service. Tip number five, how to enable audit scheduling. A helpful feature available in the VMS is the ability to schedule a machine or market for an audit. An audit is used to verify that physical inventory in the machine or market aligns with the inventory in the system. We recommend regular audits to keep your pre-kit counts and inventory accurate. To enable audits, navigate to the company settings page, click on the route planning tab, click on the green edit icon and toggle the audit scheduling to on. Save your changes. Now that the audit scheduling is enabled, navigate to the settings icon, routing, routes. Click on the edit pencil icon next to the route you would like to modify. Click on the advanced tab and under the advanced planning column, you should now see the option to schedule audits or enable dynamic audits. Once the box is checked, save your changes. Now when you plan your routes, you will see the option to plan with an audit. With these tips and tricks, you can more easily verify inventories, confirm point of sales on a route, and audit machines or markets to ensure correct services. These tools will help you run a more lean and efficient operation. Want to see a specific feature in a future video? Let us know in the comments below.